Hey guys, how's it going? This is Avid Skill Modeler 77. Today I have a review of Andrea Colors Acrylic Paint for Figures. There are six paints included in 17mm bottles and it has a satin finish, but I also hear it has a really, really matte finish. So, I mean, that'll be fine too because uh, most skin isn't really glossy. So, I kind of like it. Now, my grandma got this for me and it arrived yesterday, but there was uh, some things going on so I couldn't get around to doing this review. But I opened it up and right here I have the Crown Military Miniatures business card because this is where I got it from if you guys want to take a look at that. That's where he is. Uh, here are some products that these guys carry and also the guy signs every uh, piece of paper with the name and his name. So I mean he obviously cares about the customers so that's really great. And also you get fit, uh, free shipping with orders over 50 bucks so that's really nice. So going into the box, uh, you can see this is kind of a, a guide to how to paint them right here. And uh, I guess each color gets a different uh, shape or something. And also here's a small catalog. If you guys are interesting in, interested in seeing anything, they have books it looks like. So that'll be really helpful if you guys want to get some more information on these uh, figure painting stuff. Sets and all that. So I'm going to go into each color and tell you what I have. So like I said before, this contains six bottles of 17 millimeters of paint each. Uh, it has two base colors, two light colors, and two shadow colors. Now I'm not going to be using probably these last two a whole lot just because they're really dark, but I think you can get a nice uh, leather look with these actually because this is a nice light brown. This is a pretty dark brown with I think a little bit of red in it, so maybe rust colors as well. So besides that, I'll start with the first base. This is a kind of a tan with a little bit of orange and yellow in it, it looks like. And it looks really nice actually. Nice kind of medium skin tone, not dark, not too light, but really nice. And the second base is kind of a, a light brown, a light medium brown, so that's, that should go on top of that, I assume. And then the first light color, number three, is really orange. I might not be able to pick it up in camera, but there is a fair amount of orange in here. So that'll be kind of unusual. And number four, a uh, funny story about this one actually, as you can see, uh, some paint leaked out, which wasn't the company's fault, it was mine since I was being stupid. But I'll get to that at the end of this video. But this is a really great color right here. Um, it matches really well. Now, me being a ginger, I'm more pasty than most. But if you had a regular guy here, this will match really nicely with his skin tone. And of course, here are the two shadows I went over before. Kind of a medium to dark brown, and this is a, a fairly dark brown with a little bit of red in it. And it's, um, it's pretty thin. I mean, you do need to thin it with water. And I've seen videos, and it thins really, really well with it too. So that's really great. Now, the funny story about this, as you can see, there's some paint on it. And that's because I had a little bit of an accident last night. Um, I went to bed at around 11 because I fell asleep on the couch for like four hours for some reason. I guess I was really tired. And um, I came up here at around 11 and I just wanted to see just what was the paint like? Like the viscosity of it. Did it run smooth or was it kind of gloppy? So I took the, the cap off right here and I heard that, that you know these things are droppers like Vallejo paint. So I tried to squeeze it and get a drop out of it, but me being a dummy, um, I didn't realize that it didn't have the hole punched in it. So I kept squeezing harder and harder until the cap popped off. The cap um, on here, the dropper part, it shot out of the bottle and I had a paint explosion. It was everywhere. There's some over here. There's, it was on my floor. I even got some on my lamp. I, don't, I just noticed that. Got some on my new pants. Like The stuff was everywhere, man. So I was up to like 11.20 trying to scoop up all this paint with my finger and save as much as possible. I lost like 3 or 4 mils, so that was a little disappointing, but there's still enough. And I'm sure you can buy the bottles individually for like 4 bucks. So, not too bad. I mean, I got some paint pretty much everywhere, so I'll be cleaning that up for a few hours. Well, you know, an hour or so. So I thought I'd share that kind of a stupid story. But that's about it for this uh, flesh paint review. Again, this is Andrea Color. Alright, it is acrylic. And I got this for about 28 bucks on eBay. 
but I'm sure there's some uh, cheaper prices that you can get it for. But I got it for 28 bucks. So, hopefully I'll do some videos of me painting the figures with it. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Catch y'all later. Bye.